it's common here now, we're at the stage where we're starting to put animals in the, in the sheds again. And again, as part of that, usually dosing kicks in as well. So we're going to look at the different type of um, liver fluke dosing. So there's three different stages. There's the adult fluke, uh, early immature fluke, and there's the immature fluke. Depending on what product you use, some products treat for the three different stages, and they can be given two weeks after the animals are put indoors. Um, there are certain products then that, that do the adult and the immature fluke. They can be given seven weeks after the animals are put indoors and then there's other products that only treat for the adult fluke and they can be given 12 weeks after the animals are put indoors. But just be careful when you're treating for liver fluke that you read the directions on the side of the, the box or the bottle and you give it at the, at the appropriate time. Because if you're treating, say, a product that only treats for the adult fluke and you give it two weeks after been housing, you will have to use that product again at least 10 weeks later because then them immature or early immature fluke will only be fully mature after, after 12 weeks. So it's important and use the dosing at the, at the appropriate time. Um, because as I said earlier, if, it's, if the proper dose isn't used at the proper stage, well then it'll end up that you will have fluke in your animals later on. But you may take the decision if it's, if it's only a product you want to use for adult fluke and if you think that on your particular farm it's particularly wet or particularly heavy and you want to give two doses, one early on and one later on, well then you can, you can take that approach as well. If you. And like with all dosing, it's very important to, to read the directions on the product, what withdrawal period it is before you kill the animal or before that animal is slaughtered or before there's milk used from that animal as well. Also, um, it's important to look at the directions and the dosing rate that's used per animal. As a rule of thumb, what, what we would recommend in Chagas is that um, sometimes on farms you don't know the exact weight of your animals, so it's important maybe to dose for the heaviest. That would be our advice. But on top of that, I suppose we'd always advise farmers when you're using products always to, to consult your vet, but also take into consideration what type of farm you're, you're, you're farming on and whether it's a very, very wet farm or a light free draining farm.